someone like me, this bass can actually play every style of music. This thing is ready to go. It's um, it's great. It, it's exactly what I was hoping. It was the the biggest success of this project. Um, it exemplifies what I was trying to do, and it works. So let me give you the rundown. I made the body out of a piece of two pieces of uh, old hemlock that were scraps left over from these shelves that I made. Really rough end cut pieces, all chipped up and gnarly, and I wanted to keep it that way. So I glued them together, and I didn't do anything to the front besides wire brush it. I epoxy the bejesus out of it to keep it all together. You see the back, what it looks like sand is a little more normal, but this this front is what it's all about. I just want it to look like a log, you know. So uh, that made it a little tricky to get all everything all in there and lined up and stuff, but it was totally worth it. The look is the look is is fab. Um, the neck is also made out of some scrap reclaimed uh, pine. I think it was just a, a New Haven two x four, like old school two x four when they were actually two by four that I, I used to make this. Um, it was you know like I said it was all scrap, so I don't really even know what it was. Uh, most of this hardware that's on here, like I made this bridge out of some broken pieces and a piece of steel. Uh, these tuners I pulled off of a base, my shop base. Uh, I had some silver ones laying around, but they're all mismatched, and these were, I don't know, I just wanted black. Uh, aircraft aluminum pieces that I had, some scrap aluminum on the back. This is an old, from some, I don't know what guitar that's off of, one of these plates. So it was all, you know, shot. I got some wires in here from a pinball machine, I did all my wiring with pinball wire. It's all just, you know, oh yeah, uh, carriage bolts turned on the lathe and the, and the strap pegs. Everything I wanted to do, everything I set out to do, uh, this base is achieved. It's a fully functioning, working, original instrument made of reclaimed materials. It's like 95% reclaimed. This thing is ready to go. Um, I'm really pleased with it. So one of the reasons I, I made so many instruments at a time here, and they're all so different, is I was experimenting with, you know, what would work, what wouldn't work. Um, you know, learning, uh, you know, dipping my beak into a bunch of different things. And, and uh, you know, so I learned a lot on this. There's a lot I would do different. Uh, there's a lot that worked out pretty good after the, you know, this is sort of the last one I assembled out of all of them, so I learned a lot. Um, uh, one of the things, uh, you know, to use pine or not to use pine or hemlock or all these soft woods, there's a lot of things that are cool about using them. You know, they're cheap, they're, you know, they're free and readily accessible, and they, they often look good. Uh, but the biggest con is, is how soft it is when you're, when you're trying to get into this area of joining the neck to the body. Um, it just gets a little a little messy and, and tricky because the stuff is so soft and chips and it's you run the screw in and out a couple times and now it doesn't want to grab anymore. Um, so that's the biggest downside of all these instruments. This one here is the best of the batch, uh, where it's nice and tight. But I, I'm not really looking forward to pulling the neck off and on a bunch of times to do work on it. So I'm going to try and do a little bit of front work on it with it all together and whatnot. Um, heaven forbid I chip the front, <laughs> you know. But so um, but this one is, it's nice and tight right now. It's great. Uh, if I were to do this again, I'd probably do it as a one-piece, maybe. Uh, if I were to use pine, or I would use some denser woods in this area. And um, I'm going to keep uh, making instruments because uh, I love it, and I, I hope you do too. So now here's the hard part, is that, like I said, i got to sell some of these, and this is probably the most sellable one out of the batch. So I'm going to put it up for sale, but uh, man, I'm going to have a hard time letting go of this.